everyone and welcome to the For Fun of Knit podcast. My name is Linda. This is Vlogmas. It's Tuesday, December 14th. It's about uh, nine o'clock in the morning and it's snowed a little bit and it's going to continue to snow apparently today. Yay. I was going to go Christmas shopping. Not that I have a lot to do, but I wanted to pick up a few things, but I think I'm just going to stay home if it's going to snow. I am hoping to do a little bit of baking, but I'm also, I, my, I've got a parcel that I'm tracking. I purchased one of the winter boxes, the mystery holiday box from Les Garçons, Vincent and Max, so, com, which was a collaboration with La, Amy from Le Bien Aimé. So I'm very excited to get that. And if I do receive it today, I will share that with you. So spoiler alert. This is the, I think it was called the Holiday Mystery Box from Les Garçons and La bien So if you have purchased that and you have not received it, because mine theoretically is arriving today, it was stuck in Montreal for 10 days, 10 business days. So you might not have received yours yet. So spoiler alert, when I get to it, I'll tell you again and don't look. But I'm opening all my stuff just because we're going to go away and I want to make sure that I get it all put away <laughs> um, before we have to head out. I want to do something a little bit different this morning, so I hope you'll bear with me. I am not a public speaker. I did public speaking in my past, but I'm no longer a public speaker. But I want to read you something. And if this doesn't get you in the Christmas spirit, I don't know what will. And then I'm going to make a book recommendation. And it's a... A, an oldie but a goodie. So here it is. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. That's the title of this short. I guess it's um, it's not even a short story. It's just almost like a, a journal entry. And the quote is, nobody can conceive or imagine all the wonders there are unseen and unseeable in the world. And it, that quote is from Francis P. Church. Francis P. Church had no intention of composing a classic essay in inspirational literature that September afternoon in 1897, when he sat down to answer a little girl's query. Virginia O'Hanlon was eight years old, precisely the age when skepticism starts to erode faith. Her friends had told her there was no Santa Claus. When she went to her father for the truth, he was as tongue-tied as many parents are when conversations start to focus on the veracity of North Pole activities. He told her to take her question to the experts on everything. The editor of the newspaper. So Virginia took pen in hand and posed the eternal question of childhood to her local paper. Papa says, if you see it in the sun, it's so. Please tell me the truth. Is there a Santa Claus? Nearly a hundred Christmases have come and gone since Virginia asked for the truth. But what's real and what's not hasn't changed. Children of all ages have a deep desire to believe in a great, benevolent, and generous gift giver who rewards the good. Christmas allows the child slumbering, slumbering in each of our souls the chance to be reborn every year, awakening a sense of joy and wonder that even 11 months of doubt, derision, or discouragement can't snuff out. All that's required of us is that we believe. Believe in what? Believe in whatever means the most to you at this moment. That love's, love makes it possible to believe in all things, especially miracles. That this is the season of miracles. That there's a miracle with your name on it. That when you wish upon a star, grace steps in to bridge the gaps until your dreams come true. That there is a Santa Claus and you have been very, very good this year. Have you written your letter yet? Yes, I do mean you. If you haven't, do it today with great ceremony. 
sit down with a cup of hot cocoa, your best stationery, and your wish list. Pick one worldly gift and tell Santa that's what you want. Now pick one gift that only spirit can give. Put your letter in an envelope and send it off. Wait, watch what happens. Be happy. For the rest of the season, frequently declare under your breath is okay. <laughs> During your daily round, I believe, I believe, I believe. Right now, I'm going to believe, this is the author speaking, Right now, I'm going to believe that Frank Church wrote today's meditation for me, as well as Virginia a century ago. Clap loudly if you believe, says the author of the journal. Anyway, I, I took quite a few minutes to read that, and I'm not the greatest reader, so I apologize. But I don't know if you've ever seen this book, Simple Abundance. And this is A Day Book of Comfort and Joy by Sarah Ban Bresnich. And it's, I think it was written in 1995. That's how old this thing is. What is that, almost 30 years old? Yeah, but getting there. 95, 2005, 2015. Yeah, 27 years old. It's going to be 27 years old. And it is a, jur a journal. If you have not read this, tell me if you have, if anybody's read this. I got this way back. It might have even been... Two th yeah, 99 or 2000, I might have gotten this. So I've had this book for 21 years and I just started rereading it and I'm taking it with me. I know in a suitcase, it's a heavy book, but it is such a joy to read. And so every day you read one journal entry of this author's journey to self-discovery uh, for finding comfort and joy. And it's, it's absolutely a wonderful read. I highly recommend it. It is just a spirit lifter and who can't have more of that. So just thought I would share that with you. <laughs> Please be kind. I'm not the greatest reader out loud anyway, but, um, I will leave you now. Let's open some advents and I will catch you a bit later. Thank you. showed you opening the box but not opening anything in the box and that would be because the box is actually a knit-along box 
So the mystery is that you open up something from December 20th to the 31st, and a knit-along starts on January 1st. How much fun is that? So I guess this is going in my suitcase with me. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, so sorry, folks, not going to show that. I will show it starting the 20th. I'll open a couple of them, and then I will show you, I guess, sort of the end of the box uh, when we get settled in Spain. But uh, you'll certainly see a couple of days of me opening those. So that's kind of exciting. Sorry for you, happy for me. <laughs> but uh, I have to delay the excitement for a little bit longer. Anyway, uh, that's it for today. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you tomorrow. Take care.